The Gingerbread Man, written by Mara Elprin and illustrated by Miriam Latimer. Mr. and Mrs. Baker lived all alone. Day after day, they baked big gooey cakes, sweet crumbly pies, and piping hot pastries. But they had no one to share them with, and that made them very sad. Then one day, Mrs. Baker made a little gingerbread man to cheer them both up. He had jolly jelly buttons and a big icing smile. Dusting the flour from her hands, she popped him into the oven. But to Mr. and Mrs. Baker's surprise, when the tray came out, the gingerbread man leaped up onto the table and began skipping through the sugar. Tee hee hee, you can't catch me, he giggled. Bless my cinnamon stars! cried Mrs. Baker as they chased him over pots, under pans, and all around the kitchen. But the gingerbread man was too quick for them, and he jumped right out of the window. Scurrying along the path, the gingerbread man ran into a very hungry cow. You look tasty, mooed the cow. And what fine jelly buttons you have. But the gingerbread man just danced and pranced, singing, Run, 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 as fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he ran, as fast as his gingerbread legs could carry him. With a great moo, the cow thundered after the gingerbread man, past the milk churns, through the barn, and round and round the haystack until crash. The haystack tumbled over right on top of the cow. Oh, milkshakes, cried the very dizzy cow. The gingerbread man scampered up the hill. At the top was a very hungry goat. Good day, bleated the goat. I love munching thistles, but you look even better to eat. But the gingerbread man just whirled and twirled, singing. Run, run. Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he whizzed, leaving a trail of gingerbread crumbs behind him. So the goat dashed after the gingerbread man, through the thistles, over the gate, and in and out of the apple orchard until... Smash! The goat butted right into a tree, and the apples came toppling down with a thud, thud, thud. Oh, nettles! cried the goat, rubbing his head. Tee hee hee! laughed the gingerbread man as he frolicked through the meadow. There, dozing in a tree, was a very hungry cat. Hello, meowed the cat. You look like the perfect snack. But the gingerbread man just wiggled and giggled, singing, Run, 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 as fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he whooshed, racing down the lane. Licking her lips, the cat chased the gingerbread man around the bush, through the daisies, and towards the pond. The cat pounced up, 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 and 
came down, 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 splash, right in the middle of the cold, wet pond. Oh, whiskers, grumbled the very soggy cat. As the gingerbread man ran down the hill, he began to laugh and sing. Tee hee hee, I'm having fun. I've run away from everyone. A curly haired woman, a man in a hat, a cow and a goat, and a silly old cat. But when the gingerbread man reached the river bank, he stopped and shivered. Brrr, too cold. How do I cross? Just then, a fox appeared. Hello, little gingerbread man. He grinned. Perhaps I can help you. Just climb on my tail and I'll carry you across. Brr! Too chilly! The gingerbread man squealed as the fox paddled into the river. Then why don't you climb onto my back? Asked the fox. Brr! Too wet! squeaked the gingerbread man as the water swirled at his feet. Climb onto my head, smirked the fox, and the gingerbread man scrambled up. But the water rose higher still, so the gingerbread man climbed to the top of the fox's nose. Tee hee hee! They'll never catch me! He cried just as... The fox tossed the gingerbread man up, up, up in the air and opened his mouth wide. Snap! And that was the end of the gingerbread man. Oh dear, sighed Mrs. Baker. What a naughty gingerbread man he was. I'm still hungry, moved the cow. Me too, bleated the coat goat. So am I, meowed the cat. Then Mr. Baker said, let's all go and bake something else together. So they all trotted back to the bakery to mix and stir cakes and pastries and pies, but no more gingerbread men. It was a fantastic feast. And with their three new friends, Mr. and Mrs. Baker were never lonely again. The